You know, one of the great things about doing this show is some of the places that we get to travel to during our travel season, and that's what today's show is all about. It's about great destinations, not only inside of Ohio, but outside the borders of the state of Ohio. So sit back and enjoy some of the great things that you can enjoy around the country. I'm Mike Kilburn, and along with Renee Joseph, we're out and about checking out great destinations. Well, the heart of North Carolina encompasses a nice area of North Carolina with a lot of adventures for you. Also, it's home to a restaurant that was one of the top 100 for fried chicken. We talked to Amber Scarlett. She told us more. No, Amber, welcome to Outbound Columbus. Good to have you in the heart of North Carolina on the show. Thank you so much for having us. So tell us, what does the heart of North Carolina encompass? We are a family-friendly destination. We are home to the world's largest natural habitat park, the North Carolina Zoo. Mm -hmm. featuring North American and African animals with an expansion of Asia coming very soon. Really? Yes. And how many visitors do you see in that area a year? We are reaching a million visitors to the North Carolina Zoo, truly expecting that in 2020. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. That's a lot, that's a lot of folks That's coming to see you. So let's talk a little bit about art in that area. Yes. We're also home to the Seagrove Pottery Community, which features eighth generational potters down to folks that actually went to school for training. There's about 70 potters within a 30 mile radius that you go to their homes, see them turn the pottery, see them fire in the kilns. It's a really great experience that you'll never get anywhere else. Well, I guess you're, uh, you have some great history down there, at least one of the kings of NASCAR, Mr. Richard Petty. Tell us, yes. Talk a little bit about that. Richard Petty, the king of NASCAR, calls Randall in North Carolina home. And at his location, he has his museum, which features cars from Cars the movie, Disney Pixar movie, wow. as well as many trophies and awards and honors he's received throughout his career. There's also Petty's Garage, which he will take your personal vehicle and soup it up, or petty it, if you will, and put a race car motor in it. Wow. Just have to watch out for those state troopers. Well, tell us a little about the food in the heart of North Carolina. Our food in our downtown revitalized district features a fried chicken restaurant that's down home dining in the top 100 fried chicken in the United States. What's the name of it? Magnolia 23. No kidding. What do you think makes the chicken so good? It's a secret recipe. You won't tell anyone. <laughs> what other attractions do you have in the heart of North Carolina? We are home to Kersey Valley Attractions in Archdale right off of I-85. Mm -hmm. And they have High Ropes Course, they have Escape Rooms, they're home to Spooky Woods Haunted Attraction, as well as Laser Tag and Axe Throwing, if you need wow. to get some aggression out. Yeah. And, and so with the Axe Throwing, they actually, I mean, we've seen around here, we have some uh -huh. Axe Throwing, but everything's inside. You can go outdoors with that one, right? There is an 18-hole, if you will, Axe Throwing obstacle course throughout the property. <laughs> Well, can you give us some contact information where people can learn more about coming to the heart of North Carolina? Absolutely. You can reach us, reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Also, contact us through our Visitors Bureau, 800-626-2672 or heartofnorthcarolina.com. Sounds fantastic, Amber. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, for our vacation and destination show, we wanted to check out Defiance, Ohio. So Christy Mack is joining me today from Defiance. Christy, how are you? Give us a little bit of uh, what's going on in uh, Defiance, Ohio and what people can experience there. Sure, absolutely. Hi, Mike. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, Defiance, we really like to pride ourselves on some of the small town values that we have, but also the opportunity to provide some big city experiences. We love some of our locations here. 
with a brand new splash park that we can be able to offer to everybody free of charge, which is a huge opportunity. Um, on our festival side, we bring in many different people from all over the place to offer the big city experiences with those types of events. But then also we have some of the greatest people that you can ever meet at some of our local restaurants and our little shops within our downtown and enjoy the small town life that we have. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it sounds great. You know, something I always wondered is, where does the name Defiance come from? Sure. that's It's a great experience to talk about because I am not great when it comes to the history. It's not my niche. But we have so many great historians within the Defiance area that love to talk about the history of Defiance. And that is where the name came from. It actually came from uh, the Defiance area being an integral part of the Battle of Fallen Timbers. But General Mad Anthony Wayne actually came to the area and built Fort Defiance here. Yeah, I know. I know the place is very rich with history. You know, mm -hmm. of course, we're we're in winter right now, and we're all hoping that it ends very soon. Uh, yes, we are. So you are absolutely <laughs> right. And <laughs> yeah, we're about tired of snow, rain, ice, all that stuff down here in 37 degree chill factors. But tell us a little bit about what we can expect in the spring in Defiance, and when maybe out in the battle, come up and visit Defiance uh, in the spring. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have lots of events coming up. Uh, we have an annual lilac festival because the city flower is actually the lilac. So we have a large art and craft vendor fair that happens right in the middle of our downtown. Something that's really exciting for our downtown merchants to be able to get out of that cabin fever feeling. We have a chocolate walk that we're planning for right now, which we offer over 25 pieces of gourmet chocolate and maybe some additional, maybe additional wine samplings as well. We really would love for Out and About to come check us out in the summer for all of the amazing things and some of those small town and big city experiences. Give us some contact information, Christy, where we can learn more about Defiance, Ohio. Yeah, please check out our website, which is visitdefianceohio.com. We also have updated information on things going on around the community and other community partners that you can check out. Sounds great. Christy, thanks so much for joining us and giving us that great information about Defiance. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mike, and thank you out and about. Thank you. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page, onacolumbus.com. We'll give you detailed information on everything, arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Well, the tag words are eat, shop, stay, and we're talking about downtown Millersburg. Of course, this is one of the most popular destinations for tourists in the state of Ohio. We had an opportunity to talk to Jen Miller, learn about some of the boutique shops and events that they have coming up. Well, Jen, good to have you back on Out and About thank Columbus. Oh, thank you very much. So let's talk a little bit about Millersburg. You know, it's known for its shopping, saying you have some pretty unique boutique shops. Unless all the times I've been there, I've seen several of them. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we have some really super creative shopping options in downtown Millersburg. Very artisan driven and each shop is unique. So you won't see the same thing. Everything from handmade Amish clothing to regular line boutique items. It's all hand curated. Each store takes great pride in what they do. You know, and, and you visit those shops, and it's, um, I guess, the, it's, it's like going home. It's just so quaint and nice when you go in. You know, that's what I see when I go there. Yeah, you're going to get the shop owners behind their cash registers and just a personal touch that you're not going to find at any big box retailers. It's very much uh, organic and family friendly. Well, Jen, I always know you got a ton of events in Millersburg. You got anything fun coming up? We do. Girls Night Out is going to kick off the season. That's February 22nd. It's going to be a night of pampering for the ladies. Come in, bring your girlfriends. Sales in each storefront and just a lot of fun. Giveaways and, and all the bling to go with it. And then March 6th is our first Friday event in downtown Millersburg. It'll be Mardi Gras on the streets. And we're going to do a scavenger hunt. It'll be great. Um, there's going to be a prize at the end of the night for some lucky winner. And then March 14th is our pub crawl. Everybody gets really excited about that. You can get your tickets through Historic Downtown Millersburg. You'll get a bling bag, and there, there will be special discounts for you at each of the participating storefronts. Well, sounds like a lot of fun. It's going to be a great time. So give us some contact information for folks that want to come up and visit. Okay, well they can always give us a call or they can visit our website www.historicdowntownmillersburg.com. Fantastic, Jen. Good seeing you. Thanks so Thank much. You so we'll much. look forward to seeing you this Absolutely. season. Absolutely. Thank you.
Like the Out and About Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news on upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's Facebook.com slash Out and About Columbus. Just a short drive north to Medina County, there's so much to see and do. It's a wonderful place to make a weekend of. Dan told us more about their main attraction and what you'll find in Medina Square. Well, Dan, welcome back to Out About Columbus, and it's a pleasure to see you again. It's great to see you. Well, tell us exactly what is the biggest attraction people love to come to Medina County for? Uh, the, the biggest attraction we have is Castle Noel. And Castle Noel is a is home of all kinds of Christmas set pieces, props, and costumes, and it's the private collection of Mark Claus. So he has such great pieces as Cousin Eddie's RV from Christmas Vacation. Everybody can go down the slide of, uh, from a Christmas story. You can see Cindy Lou Who's bedroom set and so much more. Well, I love coming to downtown Medina because it's so quaint. Tell us what you're known for. Well, we are known for the Square of Medina. It has 10 restaurants that are all private owned restaurants, all kinds of shops and places to stop in, two ice cream shops, a popcorn store, a miniature or a toy and train museum, and a historical museum. Is there going to be anything new coming up for our visitors to come see? Yes, we're getting ready to open up the Farmers Exchange, and it is an old historic building. They've converted it into uh, apartments as well as there's going to be a new restaurant, the Farmer's Table. Uh, it's going to be using fresh meats from a meat market that's also opening up there. So the meat market is a local meat market. So all the meats are become, or will be coming from local area farms. They're going to be using fresh produce. We will in, be opening up a brewery underneath that and numerous shops. Oh, a lot going on in Medina. Tell us how we can find out more information about Medina County. You can check, uh, visit, or go to our website at visitmedinacounty.com or give us a call 1-800-860-2943 and we'll answer all your questions. Wonderful. Dan, again, thank you for taking the time with us today. I would encourage anyone to go there because really is there's a lot to do there. There really is. I mean, not only the square, but we have a lot of things for people to see and do, some great parks. Uh, you can hike, swim, fish. So it's just a great, fun place to live and come to visit. Wonderful. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Now you can join in on the fun with Out and About Columbus on social media. Grab your mobile device to keep up with where we are in Central Ohio. Make sure to follow us on all of our platforms for everything you need. Well, we're talking with Brittany from Destination Seneca County. Hi, Brittany. Thanks for joining us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, let's talk about what is your local history here in Destination Seneca County? Our area of Ohio was integral in the War of 1812 when General William Henry Harrison, who would eventually become president, fortified the area around uh, the Sandusky River as Fort Ball. There was actually a tree near the site of the fort that still stands along Frost Parkway today. Uh, when Erastus Bow, who came through at that time during the War of 1812, first built his tavern in 1817, more people started flocking to the area, and eventually these communities would merge and become Tiffin in 1822. And then in 1824, Seneca County was founded. Uh, we celebrate our history in Seneca County, and you can find a lot of our monuments along Frost Parkway from Fort Ball, which was the start of our history, to the All Patriots Memorial, which features a beam from the World Trade Center. We also celebrate our area in our festivals like the Tiffin Seneca Heritage Festival and the Oak Ridge Festival. Wow, so much. What is Seneca County known for? So our biggest things is our Tiffin Glass. And the factory started out in 1889, and it would move its headquarters to Tiffin in 1938 before closing in 1984. Uh, famous owners include Elvis Presley, uh, the Shah of Iran, and Princess Grace of Monaco. We have pieces that can be found worldwide in many collections, big and small. Uh, and we have our Tiffin Glass Museum right in our downtown. 
We also have the Ballwrights factory in Tiffin. Uh, they started in 1920 when Fred and Ethel Ballwright started their company in their garage. And now you can find their chips and snack products throughout our entire region. Another thing that's not actually located in Tiffin, it's located in Fostoria, which is the next biggest city located partially in Seneca County. It's actually in three different counties. Is the Fostoria Iron Triangle Rail Park where it's definitely a niche thing where we're bringing visitors from all over the world and our country coming to see the trains come through and they can sit and watch them come through in, at the pavilion that they have built there. Oh, wow. So much to do. So many exciting things. How do we find out more about Destination Seneca County? You can check our Facebook. It's just Destination Seneca County, um, where we'll be posting events and anything that we can find to share with our uh, with our readers and our viewers. Um, you can also visit DestinationSenecaCounty.org. Our 2020 Visitor Guide is on there, and if you would like to request one, you can um, sign up there, and we will send you one. Brittany, thank you again. Such great information. So much to see and do there. I didn't realize that. Thank you for joining us today. Miss any of today's show? Now you can catch it all on the go. Just visit onacolumbus.com for past episodes and all of our latest content. Well, you know, if you're coming up to the North Coast for vacation, whether you want a party cruise or something for the family or a nice sunset cruise, there's something for everybody on The Good Times 1. We talked to Joe Lamb. He told us more about what's happening this season on The Good Time. Well, Joe, good to have you in a good time boat back on Out and About Columbus. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Well, I always have to ask the question. So what's new for 2019? Uh, for 2019, our newest cruise we're doing is our party cruise. This year we decided to change it up, and we're going to turn it into a, kind of a nightclub theme on the water. We're doing a three-hour cruise on Sandusky Bay, Lake Erie, from 9 o'clock to midnight. And on board we'll have a DJ and the, the lights show, laser shows. It is 21 and older, um, but it's a great way to get out experience the water, see the beautiful downtown Sandusky and Cedar Point and all that stuff. So we're looking forward to it. Well, let's flip over to the under 21 crowd or the families. What days uh, do they get on? So we do have a daytime island hopping cruises, which is awesome. Uh, it goes out to Kelly's Island and Putin Bay, leaves at 930 in the morning. And it's not like the ferry services out there that just come drop you off and you get back on whenever you want. The boat stays with you the whole day. And we have a full service snack and cocktail bar on board so you can have enjoy a adult beverage or a non-adult beverage whatever you whatever you need so i know they're going through some instruction here where you dock so where do people park and work around this okay so there is parking adjacent to us right next to the chesapeake which is maybe 300 feet to the uh, west of us mm -hmm. uh there's a south lot is just half a block up there's plenty of parking there well, Joe, I guess the final question is, where do we learn uh, about getting tickets and reservations and all that for this good time? Yep, well, you can order tickets online at goodtimeboat.com. has all our cruises on there. Fantastic. Joe, thanks so much for being on the show. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, hi, David, and welcome to Out and About Columbus. Thanks for coming on to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. Well, tell us what makes Vinton County unique here in Ohio. Well, Vinton County is a, uh, a nature lover's county. And so anything to do with, uh, with nature, uh, we have for you down here. We've got hiking, uh, mountain biking, uh, hunting, fishing, horseback riding, kayaking, uh, just about anything. Well, I know it's so beautiful down there. What other things do people come for? Is it just for that or are there other things to do? There are a few festivals that we have every year. Uh, okay. The first one is the Wild Turkey Festival here in MacArthur. Uh, later on in the summer, we'll do uh, uh, the uh, Benton County Air Show, which is a pretty big deal. Um, and then our, uh, our pet project here last five years has been uh, Midnight at Moonville, which is at uh, Moonville Tunnel. And uh, it's, uh, it's becoming a very popular event with music and vendors and, and uh, paranormal investigators and, and all that. So it's a lot of fun. We've got a couple state parks. We've got the largest state forest, or second largest, I'm sorry, state forest 
in Ohio, Zaleski State Forest. And uh, we got beautiful Raccoon Creek, which uh, everybody loves to be on. Do you have any shopping or cool places to eat? Uh, we do. Uh, Lake Hope has a, uh, a beautiful uh, dining hall. Um, and they serve mostly barbecue, but uh, uh, some, some really good locally sourced food. Mama Rini's uh, is probably the, the hot spot for, for food around here. It's uh, just a uh, uh, home style sort of restaurant. It's uh, where all the locals like to hang out. Well, David, how can we find out more information about Vinton County so we can come visit? Well, you can call the Visitor Center at 1-800-596-4459. You can go to our website. Uh, we, we are on Facebook, so you can, you can go there. Wonderful. David, again, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Montana Resort and Marina is a great place to enjoy a great, a great getaway. This is a part of the Fontana Dam. We had an opportunity to talk to Sabrina Garrison. She told us more about what you're going to find there. Well, Sabrina, so good to have Fontana Resort and Marina on the show. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about how Fontana Resort and Marina got started. Um, it was started for the war efforts and was a uh, camp that was used to house the families and the workers of the dam. And uh, it was actually converted over and bought out and privately owned now as a resort. Yeah. Now, how close is Fontana Dam to the Great Smoky Mountains? It's actually right there. Um, so it is in the backyard and bumps up right onto the lake and onto our property. So tell us a little bit about some of the activities and things that you can find there. Well, at the village, um, we are an all-encompassing village where we have anything from watercraft sports uh, and rentals at our full uh, service marina, or we have our resort where we have putt-putt course, two swimming pools, two restaurants, uh, hiking trails on site, and we actually even have the Appalachian Trail that runs on, on our site. You know, is there good accommodations there for folks, or is it easy to get accommodations? I know you, you welcome about 100,000 visitors there a year, and, and so everybody always is concerned about a, a actually being able to find accommodation. No, we have plenty. So uh, we even house family reunions and uh, large events. So we have spaces that can house either 600 people, uh, if you want to have your event spaces, corporate retreats there, or if you just want your family and just come for a vacation, we have plenty of lodge rooms um, or a stand alone cabins. Sounds great. It really does. Well, tell us a little bit about the significance between the Appalachian Trail and Fontana. Um, we have hundreds uh, of hikers and thousands of hikers, really, that come through uh, when they're doing their trail through, uh, whether they start from Maine to Georgia or Georgia to Maine. We are right there on the trail, and we offer hiker rates and, and different even festivals and stuff just to appreciate uh, the hikers coming through. It's a, it's a big following. Sounds like a great time. Give us some contact information where we can learn more. Okay. Um, you can visit us on our website, fontanavillage.com, or call us at 800-849-2258. Sabrina, sounds great. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Pleasure. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. onacolumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Well, home to Garfield the Cat, Muncie, Indiana. We learn more about some of the things that you can see and do there from Jim Mansfield. Well, Jim, good to have visit Muncie on the show. Well, thank you, Mike. It's great to be here. You know, I, I, I love Muncie, Indiana. I've actually been there a few times, okay. and it's, it's a great little town. So tell our viewers a little bit about Muncie. Muncie, Indiana is a city of about 70,000 people, uh, home of Ball State University. Of course, it's the home of Jim Davis, the creator of Garfield the Cat. Uh, Bob Ross, who did the uh, Joy of Painting, was uh, did all the filming of his shows there. A uh, lot of activities going on as far as the uh, arts and cultural scene. Uh, you know, the uh, David Owsley Museum of Art. We have uh, some Picassos and 
uh, on the campus of Ball State University also is Emmons Auditorium where they have a lot of Broadway shows that come through there and perform. What about the trails and hiking? Uh, we have some beautiful trails in, in the Muncie area. The Cardinal Greenway is uh, one of the most uh, traveled trail in Indiana. It's the longest trail in Indiana, 62 miles long. But that trail actually is part of the Ironman competition that we host every summer. Uh, the uh, Prairie Creek Park is part of that as well. One of the things that you always wonder is, this is a great, basically it can be a great weekend get away from Columbus, right? What's the driving distance? Yeah, it's it's a short drive. It's uh, straight across west of, of Columbus on Interstate 70. So it's about a two and a half hour drive. Very easy drive, very easy drive. What do you got new coming up in months? Our cultural center, which is uh, founded by the Ball Family Foundation, is will be opening up a Bob Ross experience come October. And that will be something that people can actually come in, see some of Bob Ross's work, see uh, some of the movie or videos that he made. Uh, they're actually going to put in his studio a, a canvas where people can actually make drawings and things and that sort of thing. So hands-on experience. It is, and it's pretty exciting. We're getting an awful lot of interest from that. Well, we're going to leave it there, but give us some contact information where we can learn more about Muncie, Indiana. Okay. Uh, you can find us on the Internet at visitmuncie.org. Uh, you can call us. Uh, we have a, a toll-free number, 800-568-6862, or you can call us direct at 765-284-2700. Uh, we're located at 3700 South Madison Street in Muncie. Uh, so, you know, we're, our uh, visitor guide is on, is on our website. So a lot of things to see and do in Muncie, Indiana. Sounds like it may be a summer travel trip for our show. Right. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news, upcoming shows, and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's facebook.com slash outandaboutcolumbus. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Miss any of today's show? Now you can catch it all on the go. Just visit onacolumbus.com for past episodes and all of our latest content.